Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and today I just want to say I hate TikTok. Now, if you're a TikToker out there, you're probably just saying, Ew, you're a boomer. F you, I am not even 30 yet. But there's five reasons why I really don't like TikTok. And of course, TikTok is probably going to say, You didn't even use the app. So I decided to download this show app so I could prove that I experienced TikTok to the maximum capacity. For seven days straight, I'm going to push myself to hit trending. So I'm going to prove to you guys that I actually know what I'm saying. Okay, first things first is how to get famous on TikTok. So previously I've been uploading some of my Instagram promotional clips from my YouTube videos and they've been performing like So, I am clearly not using TikTok right. I am also 90% sure the people who like my videos are bots, so I can't really trust the results right now on TikTok. So I guess I gotta find the real answer. How does one get famous on TikTok? Make unique videos. Become a meme. This is a wiki guide, so. Okay, I guess just make funny videos. I can do that. Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and today we're gonna be playing Find My House Key. So I'm gonna just throw my key over there into the field over there. So, uh, and then if I find the key, I win. So let's get this started. Where's my key? Where's the key? I can't find my key. Where's my key? Well, I guess I'm homeless now. Uh, guys, Betty White's trending. Why is Betty White trending? I don't know why she's trending. I hope she's okay. Somebody look her up. Better be okay. 2020 is a up year. I got the tweet. I got the tweet. Okay. Bay White is trending because. Hello, operator. How does one delete all of Twitter? Hmm. Every single TikTok I see says FYP. The hashtag. What does that mean? FYP means for your. Oh. Okay. Let's check this. Okay, so it's not that. Wait, apparently it's for your page. Okay, I don't understand TikTok at all. So that was the end day one. So let's see how we actually did. Someone asked me why do I even use TikTok? Okay, that's not great. All right, let's just look at the wiki explanation of how to get famous. Um, there's probably another way to do it. Make trending memes or videos. Okay, well, guess I gotta be less original. Let's see, what's a trending video right now? No, I'm not doing that. So while preparing for the watermelon challenge, I tried to buy some rubber bands and they're sold out everywhere in my city. So, clearly everyone's doing the watermelon challenge. <laughs> That's not right. Grace, <laughs> ah, ah. <sighs> I just met you And I just met you and this is crazy This is what what well, Here's my number There's my what So tell me maybe Wait, I gotta stop there I, I think it might be copyright Even though I was saying I'm not entirely sure Let's not risk it Alright, so That was Pain to actually do But, you know We hit trending now Hopefully Let's see how the results do Jesus I got Two new followers I really need some help but maybe I should ask a local TikToker nearby. Maybe they'll help collab with me in some videos. It's good for them too, cause you know, they get their name out there and I get my name out there too. It's a win-win for both of us. So yeah, no, I should totally ask a local person to be a collab person. Let's try it. Dear Justin Bieber, I'm a local TikToker just like you. All right, so Justin Bieber just blocked me on TikTok. So there goes my hopes. Yeah, what's, what's this video? Catherine actually makes really cute videos, so. Maybe she could help me out in the next videos. She's probably cooler than Justin Bieber, I'll be honest here. Dear Kia children, I'm a local TikToker just like you. Wait, what? Choose your 
oh my god we're, we're actually getting views now so this is pretty cool who knew having girls in your video is the way to get trending so maybe collaborating is the best way to actually get out there i'll be honest does anybody think tiktok's algorithm is like complete because like i get recommended by like really bad video that person's too loud that person's annoying that person's that person's not wearing anything oh say yeah i know that girl that's cat she used to go to high school with me and she makes a lot of funny videos so that's I can make this work. Please, Kat, I'll do anything. I really need you to help out. I'll even help you write out your fan fiction about that volleyball manga you love. You want me to draw him what with him? Where'd you get the tiara from? No, I took this from a little girl. What do you like doing? Watching heights, I mean watching volleyball. Oh, that's cool. I, I like volleyball a lot too. Okay, Sam, don't talk about Haikyuu. Girls don't like it when guys talk about anime. Uh, I like it when Tobio, I mean, the boys play with their balls. What did you just say? God, f I should have talked about anime. You what? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> So now it's day five and Twice came out with their new album. So I didn't get anything done today. Now I gotta make it up by finding someone else to help collab with. Holy shit, this girl's really good at cosplaying. She's from Japan. So 3 a.m. here, maybe she'll help out. Hi Sarah, konbanwa. Dude, I speak English. That was a fun battle, Senpai. I hope we can fight again together. That adventure was so much fun. Please send me all of your premium items and loot boxes. Mwah. This is why I play as a girl. Thanks for watching, and for my exclusive Patreon fans, you can call me at 613 Cute Girl. Hello? Hi, is this Cute Girl? No, sorry, bro. You, you're getting catfished here. Oh, do you like anime? Hell yeah, I do! How about Boruto? Suck! Yeah! Up. You haven't been changing your clothes. You didn't even change your gym clothes. Well, yeah, I'm a software engineer. We don't have to go to the gym. All right, we are back on trending again. I'm really happy. Like, so far, everyone's been laughing at the videos. We've been doing pretty well. We've been training well. So, I guess, what's next for today? Oh, I forgot to book someone for today. Okay, gotta think. The last thing I've been watching was Arthur. So... You actually won that game! Good job! Slap that butt, Buster! You two are to slap that butt! I told you not to touch it! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh my god, Arthur! I actually hurt! Do you go to the gym or something? Okay, I do not have any ideas. I am running out. There's a person named Irene, and she wants to collab with me. Thank god! Okay, who knew Ryan's script for TikTok's really hard? Okay. Hey, so um, I'm at the front. What do you want? Hmm, what do they have? There's Big Mac. No. McChicken. Nah. Fish filet. Not today. Can you take a photo of the menu? Okay. All right, sent you the photo. Hmm, can you take a photo of the second menu? Okay. All right, sent you the second menu. Hmm, what else is on the menu? You do realize you're like five feet away from me. Can you take a photo of the first menu again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Love sushi and I love puppies. Um, miss, you do realize this is a job interview, right? So, what about you? I like long walks on the beach too. Alright, it's been six days. So, apparently, one of my videos got copyright strike. Then I don't know that could be possible on TikTok. Let's have one more day. Let's hit it strong. We're gonna have everyone come back. We're gonna make sure this is the best videos possible. We're gonna do every copyright strike possible now. And then I didn't transform like the other pretty girls on the brush that was because I was so ugly. Really? Nothing? 
Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't even choose me over these three. Why am I even in this game? Now we have the results for the TikTok challenge. We ended up getting about 110,000 views, which we barely made the goal. So that's, that's great. At the same time, that was actually really hard to do. And I did a lot of experimenting throughout the whole process. I actually understand the algorithm now. So right over here, we're going to tell you guys how TikTok's algorithm actually works. So TikTok's broadcasting capabilities on your videos are based on your success rate to the test market. When the video is uploaded, about 300 to 500 people get to see the video first. These are not your followers. These are random people across the platform. There's four major factors, views, shares, likes and the fourth one which is a bit odd to think about completion of the video the first three are important but the fourth one is what really makes or breaks your video let's say your video is 15 seconds long if the viewer watches the full 15 seconds you're good that's one point if the viewer watches halfway about seven seconds and stops watching it that's zero points finally if the person watches the video and loops that counts for an additional point plus two basically so the goal of your video is to hit 300 points out of 300 viewers because then that means your video is good and it can grow from the market that's why you see a lot of popular videos do these kind of teasers just like this. I have a secret to tell you. I'm afraid of clowns. I have a secret. So that's one point for watching the video and another point for looping it. So congrats, you're a successful video. With that consideration, there are three different outcomes for how your video performs. So out of 300 viewers, if 70% or more completely watch your videos, TikTok will recognize your video as a potential success and you will be recommended to 1,000 to 5,000 new users. If that works out, then again, they'll re-recommend you back to the 10,000 more people and it keeps going and going like that. That's how a video gets viral. If you hit above 50% success rate, the video may be recommended again to another 300 to 1,000 people or it may just stop completely. It really depends on how the system really thinks of how your video performs. Now, if you have less than 30% of people watch the video fully, then TikTok will say, no, this video won't be successful. These numbers are estimates, but it gives you a better picture of how this is visualized. So while the number seems random, the logic's there. Like if the majority of people like watching your video fully, you should probably promote them. And if people don't really, then you shouldn't promote them based on the random sample. However, there's one factor that changes all this drastically, and I call it the TikTok order. See, TikTok organizes for you page based on three preferences, popular, new, and regular. So when you open the app, the first thing you see on the for you page is TikTokers you follow followed by popular TikTok videos because statistically they should be more attractive to you because the majority of people have liked the video in the past. Then new TikTokers are shown because they want to promote those TikTokers saying you're going to be famous instantly. You might as well keep posting it. So after the first 10 videos, then they stop boosting them and they become regular users. And by the time they reach to your content, assuming you're an average TikTok user, the user may already be exhausted from watching all these videos before they hit your video regardless if it's good or not, which can affect your viewership turnover overall. So while you're uploading, you also have to factor in what time you upload because if a bigger fish posts their videos around the same time you do, they're gonna be taking priority over yours. And those 300 views, your first ones to determine if your video is successful or not, if those fishes take away those people's time versus yours, your video is already dead on the spot. What makes this even worse is TikTok actually segregates content. So if you make 10 videos about anime and then you decide to make a singing video for a day, your singing video won't get promoted because it's not the same type of videos you made in the past. That's a lot to take into, but at the end of the day, the algorithm's like it makes sense, but because of all these factors, good content creators may not ever show up in your feed because of all these clickbait videos are going ahead of them. This platform just becomes a clickbait wasteland. That was gruesome actually. I don't understand how people can make four creative videos every single day. Now back to the whole point of the video. Here are the five reasons why I hate TikTok. Number one, trending sucks on TikTok. It's actually really hard to hit trending because of two factors. One, you're limited to what kind of hashtag you use and two, Hashtag you use is probably going to be irrelevant in the next five hours. It so encourages posting, which I really hate. If you make a video, it's fun and good. If you're just going to film something and it's so faulty and you're not even doing much, I don't care. You're just bombarding like no tomorrow content. And unlike Reddit or so most social media platforms that have moderators, TikTok doesn't have moderators. So you're just getting bombarded by like no tomorrow. But let's break it down. One. The limited hashtags, let's look at the hashtags right now. You probably would not use any of those hashtags in any other social media platform, only TikTok does it. And I don't even know where they're coming from. And the worst part is, even if you get those hashtags, there is a chance it trends over. And by the time you create your content, this new hashtag you gotta follow, like these ones. And that's what happens when you pressure people to create content every single day and create more content based on trending. You create lower quality. And because of that, you're seeing so much Post. I don't care that's your favorite anime part 17. It's not even their fault. It's because if you don't hit trending, you're not gonna be useful. And if you don't do daily, then you're not gonna be recommended to people that often. 
So then it just becomes an endless cycle for everyone just posting because you have to be relevant. Number two, everyone's horny as out. And I don't understand why. Like, even this clip, this girl is having pots and pants. Like, why? I hate when the prank videos are just cringy stage or like cheat on girlfriend boyfriend. Like, I I don't understand. Is that funny to cheat on someone? Because that's not funny to me. And also, boys, guys, just put on a shirt. No one wants to see your man boobs. And the bigger issue is over 30% users are under the age of 18 that use the platform. If you're going to post sexual inappropriate videos or drugs or anything that a minor shouldn't watch, they're going to watch it. And the reason is because you're using the hashtag FYP, which is the most popular hashtag used. You could say, well, they shouldn't be watching it, but they're trying to get the five seconds of fame too. So they're going to use the hashtag that's going to be recommended to their channel and they're going to keep seeing this over and over again. They're trying to hit trending. This is a message to content creators out there. Think of your users because a lot of you thought they just wanted 10 seconds of fame. And if we keep pushing inappropriate content to those youth, they're going to take the stigma that that's appropriate in their mindset and kind of cringe is thinking about how kids are going to have with pots and pans too. That's like, no. And all honestly, TikTok should make an 18 plus category where if your content is for a mature audience, it should only be shown to them um, based on the profile where they create. So I actually found out there's a parental guide in TikTok, but like one, what kind of kid wants their parents on TikTok? And two, what exactly will be censored? It's more important for you to mark the content versus just generically assume the computer knows what they're doing. So right now for content users, think of the content for the users, especially the younger ones. Now, number three, making money on TikTok. You can't. The platform doesn't have the ability to monetize the user. So if you get a million views, that means jack At least currently in June 2020. A lot of people think that if I get the views, I can make money as a career. No, you can't. And that was a concern for me too when I went to the platform. I thought, you know, this might be a second revenue stream. No, it is completely not. It's literally just a way for you to voice yourself out so that people can check your other social media channels or any profitable products you can promote. That's literally what TikTok is. You don't make money, you use it to make money off other platforms. But it's not an instant platform where you literally become successful. It's a platform you have to work hard on. So I don't like people saying you're gonna be instant successful. No, it's a lot of hard work. That's also why when people are asking, why can we use copyright music on TikTok videos for most of the time? It's because no one's making money on the application except for TikTok. If someone does a lip sync video, well, you can't sue that person for using your music because they're not making money off of that song directly. So the music group's kind of like, this is kind of awkward. I don't know who to sue. Number four, I hate the ads. I don't want to see this the Hot Pocket ad. It's sucking bucks. Number four is I feel like posting every single day lost the value of the videos. I love making videos. That's been my career for the majority of my life. But the less effort you put into videos, the more you just post, the less likely you're going to look back at videos and laugh. You're just posting to be the next one. You don't look back at your memories. That's a shame because videos are built to be memories. When I have my clients, they all laugh, they cry because they see the old memories of themselves. And that's why I feel like TikTok should have been. A lot of people don't. And we should probably encourage people to say, if you make a video, ask yourself, would you watch it again in five years? And that's what makes it more enjoyable. If you make videos with your friends, if you do something you work hard on, it makes it 10 times more fun on this platform. I, I give my props to people who do cosplays, people who make fun skits off of things they love or people who create creative content. You guys out there are making the platform worthwhile. You're making posts less There are also educational videos, but like knowing that in every single peanut butter jar, you're allowed to have up to five rolling hairs in the jar. I did not need to know that. And number five, obviously China. Now everyone's like, oh, Facebook, Instagram, they're brainwashing people. Yeah, this is much worse because this is basically Chinese spyware. Hell, even me saying that, I'm probably banned from China. So if you work in a high security company or even the government, don't use TikTok because it's spyware for China. Like it's going to go through your application, take information they need and bring it back to the host. Like it is pretty standard stuff. So if you work for a government or a high profile security company, don't use TikTok. That's how we lost Nortel in Canada. So one of our politicians in Canada named Jagme has a TikTok account. One, you should not be making videos on TikTok because you're a government, you work for the government. And two, you're doing the meme wrong. Do you even know what the lyrics are? And yeah, those are the five reasons why I hate TikTok. Catherine is actually messaging me. Huh? Hey Catherine. So now that we've heard your rant about why you hate TikTok, 
You forgot to say how it could be helpful for some people. Why it's good? Imagine having a tool where you could show that people that you're doing okay and that you're having fun and you're smiling. It can help connect people and it can also be good for mental health. She's right. Plus, who cares if it's just repeating memes? People are getting creative with it and relating it back to their lives or their experiences. Plus, people young and old alike are getting so creative, it's insane. There's also a lot of good people. You just have to be smart and safe. I mean, we survive the toxic cultures of Facebook and MSN Messenger, so it's not new to our world. Plus, it's less embarrassing in dancing clubs. Lastly, it's a way for us to express ourselves. A lot of us find it hard to share difficult moments in our lives. However, this way, we can let others know that if they're going through difficult times, we're probably going through difficult times as well. That's pretty amazing from all you girls to say that. I guess you're right, TikTok's not that bad at all. You forgot one thing, Sam. What is it? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Um, uh, well, actually, yeah, I had a lot of fun when I was working with you girls. I guess you girls are right. TikTok's not that bad. I guess just for now, it's not my cup of tea. I guess I could just go back to Facebook. Ooh, stop using that trash. Facebook, you suck. Nani, nani, nani. What are you, a boomer? How do I turn nani, off my nani. phone? You suck. Hey everyone, I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who helped me make this video. I want to give a shout out to Catherine, Kat, Sarah, and Irene. They've been amazing collabing with and I strongly recommend everyone to check out the channel. They are honestly the best people I've worked with this project. And thanks to them, my experience at TikTok was amazing and I had so much fun working with them. To check out their Instagrams and the TikToks, they make amazing stuff and everyone should be watching them. I put everything in the description, so please check them out, go follow them. Trust me, they have amazing stuff coming out on their own channel. I also want to thank everyone for watching this video. This video took about a month to produce just because I want to learn TikTok better. I want to make the experience an honest one so you guys know the good and the bad that comes out of TikTok. Even if you're new to TikTok or you're a pro TikTok, I hope this video helps you out, create better content, but more importantly, make it a more enjoyable experience. The platform means nothing unless you have fun. So next time you use TikTok, have fun with it. Don't worry about the rest. It's always about the memory, so make it worthwhile for you and your friends and you'll have a good time. So from all of us here, we want to thank you guys so much and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Don't judge me! <laughs>